at Maker Faire and Ted, can you tell me a little bit about ShopBot and what it is and why people should be amazed and absolutely wanting one? Well, the exciting thing about ShopBot is it's just a nice introduction to digital fabrication for people. It's all about making stuff. You're here with us today. We have two of our uh, smaller tools. Okay. And what they're great at is subtractive digital fabrication, which is to say they're a 3D printer, but they make stuff by cutting things out or carving or sculpting. This one here that uh, Bill Young is running, He's cutting out uh, plywood to put together a Model T. So, so that's a little car over here, right? Model T's here. The design was by John Canton of Wood Marvels, who is a prolific designer of slot together and fit together plywood cars. So trucks, here's a whole bunch frames. of parts. These are parts here. Are some and parts. There's a couple ones. completed cars. Cuts those two sheets of plywood, two fifteen by twenty inch sheets of plywood. Cuts all the parts. And we're just this is, as a matter of fact, cutting the side out right now. And uh, we're also cutting out foam cars that were vacuum forming. Oh yeah! So let's take a look at those. The vacuum formers designs. Let me grab a car. We're cutting the cars out of foam on the machines. Okay. Out of a sign foam, a high density urethane. And then vacuum forming them on this jig by um, vacuum former by Widget Works yep. in New York. And so it's a it's a thermoplastic, right? Thermoplastic. And then the you heat it up sheets, on the skillet. And That's then... a Walmart twenty nine dollar electric hibachi. <laughs> heat it on there. The plastic in the frame. We're using these and then Home the... Depot bucket head oh, and nice vacuums, some nineteen dollar vacuums yeah. into the vacuum source. Pulls it all down. That's neat. Shop might also cut the tables. All our banner stands, these okay. work benches, they're all kind of And you got a little model of the, uh, the, of the shelter there. That's the first That's good. Good model of the shelter. Cool. And, and then, then John Danforth is doing engraving. Okay, on, uh, so let's go on here. over. So John, tell, tell a little bit about the engraving that you're doing. you got good timing, I just finished one. <laughs> We're uh, engraving some fun luggage tags, yeah. keepsakes. So you start with a blank like this? Start with an ordinary blank and yeah. we have a nice needle nose bit down there. Okay. And in the end, we wind up with some really cool engraving. So I made this at Maker Faire Detroit on the shop bot. Yeah. And then, so this this little jig, you've got this bolted down onto the table. Yeah, we made that on the shop bot too. Oh, that's right. <laughs> and you bolt it onto the table, and then you just hold it in place with a couple pieces of acrylic. Yeah, it keeps them from flying away. Mm -hmm. it just needs a little bit of tension, and then we can uh, replicate it every yeah. time. So, so I guess we could put one of these in like that. And tap that in and, and we'll screw then, that down. And then so then it it cuts it. So it cuts a little little well, depth this, into it. That's you, you my first draft. Okay. This is the new one. That's good. So we can adjust the depth, use a different bit, get a different effect. Okay. Something nice and small, these little bits make all the difference. Yeah. And so you're you're driving this CNC machine with this little Depth hook. That's right. So we've got the uh, the software written in here already. Yep. So I'm just going to repeat the thing I did before. Okay. As soon as I hit enter, the machine will start up. Okay. And it'll go to where it needs to go. We're spinning up. Uh, and here it up. And so you've got some furniture over here too, right? Yeah, have a look, Chris. These are uh, chairs that were designed uh, using software by a company called Sketch Chair. Okay. And uh, we've been cutting them out on a bigger shop. Bob yep. has been cutting them out. It's a pretty yeah. interesting system. They, they've designed, they're writing a program, they're actually funded on Kickstarter. Yep. But they're writing a program so you design your own chair, you draw the contour, you put the legs in, you have a little virtual guy that sits in it to see how the balance is. And then it does all the slotting and dividing and all wow. that. Yeah, because so, figuring out the slotting is not a little yeah, bit challenging. Exactly. And so you get this is called an antler chair. And that looks like a nice contoured it's, chair. It is a nice chair. And they have these rocking stools that are designed to be sat on and rocked yeah. side to side rather than oh, front okay. to back. So they're uh, they've been great. really popular. We've had I don't know hundreds of people have sat in these yeah. since we first opened up. Cool. And then can we take a look at some of the gears and Things over here? Sure, this was um, 
This was made by Chris Shy, who's done, he's been on the Make Blog quite a bit, did some brass versions of these um, irises. He machines all this, does some other, but he did this plastic one for us. Does all the gears and... So this is a different material than we've seen. This is a, is yeah, this? this is a plastic, an ABS, I believe. I'm not mm -hmm. positive, but I think it's okay. ABS plastic. Um, these are some 3D carvings. Um, so if you have, like, chill. what is this, an STL file? that, yep. that um, and it goes into toolpathing software that, that works, works basically the same way as, yeah. as all of it. It just generates the motion of the tool. Yeah. Um, things like this are assembled so out of a couple of pieces. Okay. So the sides cut, the turnings are done. So you can assemble it in lots of different ways and make a piece that you could, you'd have to carve by hand yeah. normally to get these areas. When you add it, when you cut the pieces several, you can assemble them. Yeah. Okay. Um, cook jigsaw puzzle pieces, you know, they go together in just about any different way. So we do a lot of these for schools where kids can learn to spell and it gives right. them, they can kind of connect either way. Um, gear systems and carvings and yeah. all kinds of goodies. Cool. Um, all the banner stands, all yeah. these kind of things were done okay. by us. Cool. And if people want to find out more about ShopBot, where can they turn to? www.shopbottools.com. Awesome. Thank you so much. Good talking to you, Chris. This is great. Thanks, Chris. Take care.